Venga, haleo, haleo, sueña de la metralladora y franco se va a paseo, y franco se va a paseo. Do you remember that? The Macpaps, 1980. Was it 1980? 19, January 1980. And you played? La Passionaria, Dolores Ibaruri, the head of the Communist Party in Spain during the Spanish Civil War. And you were great. Thanks. You know, that was one of my father's favorite speeches. He talked about that. Why was that? I don't know. He loved the passion. He loved the, um, uh, the power of this woman and that it was oratory and that it was... Uh, maybe he liked the Spanish accent. I don't know. But he loved that. He talked about that a lot. And for us, who was La Passionara? La pa that was her name. That's what they called her. That's what the, the, the Nacionales, Internacionales called her, was La Passionaria, because she was such uh, a leader. She inspired them. She spoke to them. So for the record, this was this is the Mac Paps about Mackenzie Papineau no, Battalion, Battalion, Spanish Civil War. Yes, the Canadian Battalion uh, that went to fight in a civil war pre-World War II, against 1936, the against the fascists in Spain. And the passionera was Lascom. a Spanish woman? Yes, she was Spanish, Dolores Ibaruri was her name. And she was a poet or an actress or who was she? You know, I can't remember, it was so long ago, I was right out of theater school. Um, uh, I just remember auditioning for three days with George Luscombe. That's what you had to do to get into the group. And I came and auditioned and I, um, and then I thought, after a while, I thought, hmm, three days, okay. <laughs> I'm giving you a lot of material here. <laughs> you know, but it was such a, you know, I was just talking to Cedric Smith the other day about Jack Bashulte and Iris Pabo, Chris Britton, who were all in that show, and uh, Tom Butler, right? And you, dear. And me. And so, first coming out of theater school, there you are with George Luscombe, yeah. Toronto Workshop Productions. I had a summer before. I came out of theater school. Well, I was just saying to you that uh, yesterday, I was getting ready to warm up um, for John Gabriel Borkman, the play I'm doing right now at Tom Patterson in Stratford. And Joe Ziegler, who is in it playing Fuldall, said to me, Shauna, today, on this day, Forty years ago, we met on our first day of theater school in Montreal at the National Theater School of Canada. And I went, wow, good life. So where does that put you in perspective of looking at Shauna and Joe and 40 years of National Theater School, 40 years of work oh, yeah. and what comes, what you can do now or, I mean, when I look back on 40 years of my work, I, I go, oh my God, Shouldn't I be better after 40 years? Or I'm lucky to be alive after 40 I just think I'm years. so lucky. We're still here and we're still working. We were still, we were working. We were going into our matinee 40 years later. That's a blessing. I always consider it a blessing when I'm working on my birthday or my, or, you know, um, when other people go, oh, I've got to work. I go, yay, I've still got a job. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, and you know, 40 years ago, I look at Joe and I go, yes, I know, we're both white haired now, and, but I, I see the same kid with the red goatee that I saw in, you know, 40 years ago, it kind of goes like that. I think of all the work I've done though, and I feel really lucky because it's been such a great variety. But I have to ask though, you who have done so much, so well, for so long, do you still think it's lucky to work? Whereas... Yeah. I mean, I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain that? Well, you know, Canadian, I remember, I, I don't know, the Canadian life in the theatre, maybe in all of the arts, in Canada feels like a Ferris wheel, you know, because you can go up to the top and be in all the papers and all the interviews and very public eye, and then you start, you know, kind of fading and disappearing. You're still working. You're still working. You're still doing your stuff. And then you come up again, and then you go down, and, you know, you know, I've had about three careers here at the Stratford Festival. I was here, left, was here, left. Now I've been here for quite a while in a row, but I've always gone someplace else to work in the off-season, in the winter. So I, I think you, uh, and, you know, even though this is my 25th season here at the Stratford Festival, which is kind of extraordinary, uh, 
from one year to the next, you don't know whether there's a season for you or uh, whether you'll have a job or whether it's one that you'll want to do. So it is. It and is how do you cope with that change. mentally, emotionally, never knowing, right? You're in, you're out. You're in, you're out. Some, but someone of your power and your talent being in and out. You know, there are, there are people who are struggling oh, yeah. in many ways. And how do you cope with that? Uh, I have always felt that, um, you know, a bit like Spinal Tap, I could sell hats. <laughs> I, I could find something to do. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, when I was in theatre school, I thought, you know, I didn't say I was an actor until the first year, three years out of theatre school. I mean, I was an academic. I went to, you know, Trinity for a year and then I deferred scholarships and went to the theatre school for what I thought would be a year. I think I still have the journal that said, for your year away from us, from a friend of mine. And then I stayed and, uh, you know, asked if I could give those scholarships to friends who were still there. <laughs> they didn't go for that. Um, but I, then I thought, well, I'll do this as long as I get work when I graduated. I thought, well, I'll do this as long as I, as, as I, if, if I don't get work after a couple of years or years, then I'll find something else to do because I want to do something. Right. So I sort of look back and go, oh, I guess it worked out. <laughs> but I, I, I did not really call myself an actor until about three years in, like on the plane when somebody says, what do you do? I'd go, I work in the theater. That's what I'd say. I work in the theater. Because immediately, as, as soon as you said actor, they went, oh, and what television shows and what movies? And you go, well, I work in the theater, actually. <laughs> Meaning you never see me on your TV, so I'm not yeah, part of that. Yeah, yeah, not really. Yeah. You know, and people say, well, why aren't you doing film? Why aren't you doing television? I said, well, you don't ask a sculptor why they don't paint. They are different. They're very different, and I admire the skill and virtuosity of people in film and television, but I've only done a smattering of it, you know, here and there in between theater things.